Welcome to another episode of Leon Smash Burgers Pops In. I'm Leon Catalano, and for today's episode, I'm at a restaurant that Brunswick East locals love and know. I'm turning dreams into reality. In the lab with the formula and chemistry. The memories spark and motivate and make the industry shake. We put the bars in the place. I'm talking one. One chance at best, yes Painting pictures for the culture, keep the brushes fresh Flip the cover, work the drum, a passion never rests Freedom is our teacher, under pressure, now we bless See, I was so good for the go It's one art, one shot, now the future is yours, go Yeah It's one art, one shot, now the future is yours, go For today's episode, this is not just a burger restaurant But a bar and live music venue too Today I pop in to the B-East. Let's go in. The B-East roared to life in 2012 and for 10 years locals have been enjoying everything about it. With the bar and live music, the B-East just oozes a hip vibe. The walls are covered in graffiti and cartoon style art. The atmosphere is a buzz. It really is a unique and trendy burger joint. There is a real sense of inspiration from deep South American cuisine, and the menu is inspired from its creator's very own road trips down south of the States. I had the privilege to see firsthand and speak to head chef Jared Moore about the journey of the Bee East and its burgers. Jared, how long have you been part of the Bee East? Just about since its inception, I think. Like, probably, uh in and out and around it for about eight or nine years now. You're the head chef? I kind of do a bit of everything these days, so like head chef and some operations and just like, you know, general business running yep. across the board. Jared, what are your thoughts of the ever evolving Melbourne burger scene? Yeah, it is kind of ever evolving these days, isn't it? Like it, it, go, it kind of goes in and out of trends um, and drops drops in and out of vogue, but um, it's kind of one that stayed pretty steady for us. We've, you know, we've only kind of grown over the last um, last little while. Um, COVID obviously a bit of a hiccup, but still had heaps of um, delivery trade and people who make the effort to drive down here during that, which was great. Because you have been around since sort of that burger trend started. Yeah, yeah. Day. Yeah, yeah, we were, we were kind of, you know, like I you know, definitely weren't the first ones on the boat, but we were like within the first um, handful that were kind of solely yeah. dedicated to, to doing one thing. Yeah. Um, and, and, you know, put a, love, a lot of love and effort, I guess, into it rather than just, you know, slapping something together. Jared, your menu is stacked. You've got beef burgers, fried chicken, sides, even vegan options. Yep. What are the go-to burgers and sides at the B-East? I suppose that there's probably ones in different categories. So like, like you were saying, we try and the whole idea of the place is that it needs to be super inclusive and, and bring everybody in. So we want to have something for everyone, which is why we make sure we have vegan and vegetarian options as well. Yeah. Um, and the big thing that we kind of concentrate on is that they're not afterthoughts. They're like, they get as much love and consideration as the meat or anything else that goes on the menu. We don't just want to just, you know, chuck a mushroom in a burger or something like that. Everything that is gone on there has been tested. We try and find the best products that you can find or make it ourselves or whatever whatever it may be. So um, I'd suppose probably from like the beef point of view, um, our Ron Swanson burger is probably one of our more popular ones and it's just, you know, slightly different to, to something else. It's kind of like, um, based on like a Chicago style French dip, but it's kind of oh, in yeah. burger form. The Clint Beastwood is our fried chicken option. It's probably one of our most um, popular burgers. Yep. Um, and as far as the vegan, we've had um, we've had a vegan fried chicken burger on since the start here called the Morrissey. Um, that's a staple on the vegan menu. Yeah, that's probably, we've had that um, pretty much the whole time we've been open. Okay. Jared, can you take us in the kitchen? and show us how the Bee East make their burgers. 100% come through. Got Jared, the man. You're gonna show us a few burgers. Yep. So what are you gonna show us today, Jared? Cool, man. All right, well, the first thing I think we'll do is the one we were just talking about. We'll do a, a double Ron Swanson, which is a pretty popular option around here. All of our meat we get, um, we get from a local butcher's called McGregor's. They put together a great blend for us that's kind of made to our specifications. Um, so- Your own blend, that's a secret. Got, a, got our own blend. Weigh a certain weight. Um, yeah, everything's at 150. Okay. Um, it's a chuck brisket blend, a Robbins Island uh, Wagyu. We'd sometimes blend a little bit of the fat uh, just from just from Angus, just so it's not yeah. entirely Wagyu uh, yeah. fat through there, or else yeah. it gets a little bit too full on for some people. So what we're going to do is start off with just grab a couple of 
patties from the fridge. So basically what we're doing is, you know, using your, you know, your classic no. burger annihilator. <laughs> and put a bit of stank on it for a minute. We normally just kind of hold it for like you know, 10 seconds or so. So you're still getting that real crispy top without just completely, flat, smashed, yeah. completely smashing it. So for this one, um, we use the like American style, like super thin cut bacon. We don't put salt in the actual mix itself. I feel like it just draws all the moisture out when you pre-salt anything or pre-spice anything. Still getting an awesome crust on the top without like yeah. and like really yeah. so it's still saying pretty juicy um and, and for this one we just we just double cheese it okay so instead of just using one style of cheese we use like the normal burger jack cheddar um as well as the you know swiss style gruyere kind of slices This is called the Clint Beastwood. Clint Beastwood. Yeah, all chicken thigh in this one. Um, we just marinate that in buttermilk and our own spices, kind of a yep. similar, you know, buttermilk fried chicken. Yep. Same deal, flour is just kind of our own flour mix, but yep. um, you know, just flour, some cornstarch, a bunch of different herbs and spices, but we also season it quite a lot, so yep. we don't want to go too much. Yeah, it just goes down and starts cooking. So chuck a couple of things of bacon on here. So just the same deal, the salad's just like a simple slaw mix, man. We call it golden barbecue, but like I was saying, it's kind of more of a, a Carolina style mustard vinegar yeah. dressing. Um, but it just gives it like a real tang kind of kick in the ass. Yeah. So kind of just like that. We just dress the sauce, uh, the slaw a little bit in that one and just give it a drizzle on the chicken as well. All right, that should be ready now. Um, just our house seasoning, which is just a blend of normal salt, um, chicken salt, and then just a bunch of other herbs and spices. And then um, this one just gets some, some cheese, and we melt that under the grill, and we can get the rest of it ready. So just go over there and make sure our bacon stays nice and crispy. So this just gets a little bit of ranch, which we make in-house as well, on the bottom. Slaw, dill pickles. Cool. Only takes a sec. <laughs> Alright. Ranch dressing. Over the top. Cool. Ready to rock. Well done. Clint Beastwood. Alright, we'll do a quick Death Star fries. So just one of our like loaded fries options that are kind of one of the more popular ones. Get the same seasoning as the other ones for the fries. Shredded Mexi blend of cheese. So that's just like Jack Cheddar, mozzarella, and queso fresca. We just make a chili cheese sauce every morning. Try and make everything on our own. So this one just gets just a bit of a lasher chili cheese, liquid cheese. Gets a uh, the chili is like a fermented like sambal style chili as well. Beef shoe. On the other side. So all we're doing with this one, a little bit of hot sauce. This is our house buffalo sauce that we make. And a little bit of ranch the other direction. That's ready to roll, fully loaded. <laughs> Got the Clint Beastwood with some crispy bacon, double Ron Swanson and a Death Star fries. Cool. Jared, thank you for the little else. Smash burgers, pop in. To the beast. Thank Anytime, you. Anytime, man. It. Always welcome. Cheers. Fun to eat. <laughs> Jerry just cooked up 
storm for us. The Clint Beastwood, Ron Dam Swanson. Going in. Oh. Damn, that's good. That crunch on that chicken, that crispy bacon. I wonder why it's called the Clint Beastwood. As soon as you walk into the Beast, you can't help but feel its amazing atmosphere. It is the perfect place to catch up with family or friends to enjoy live music and wrap your hands around Wagyu beef burgers, southern fried chicken burgers, or try a burger from their array of vegetarian options as well. There are also amazing weekly specials and themes from meat-free Mondays, trivia Tuesdays, $1 wing Wednesdays, to hot eats Thursdays, the weekends at B East are alive and well, and with live music from local bands to keep your weekends moving. Be sure to add the B East to your Melbourne to-do list. The B East is open seven days a week from 12 to late and has two locations. 180 Ligon Street, Brunswick East, and the second store is 231 Swanson Street, Melbourne. Thanks for watching. Click and subscribe for episode number 15. In the meantime, Keep up to date on my social media for when my next pop-up is. Until then, see you next time.